Hello and welcome back. Today I want to talk about something that I wish I knew when I first got into sports photography or just photography in general, and that is setting my white balance. So with basketball and the lights being different in all different gyms, one thing that I come across very, very often in our gymnasium is my white balance changing if I use auto white balance. The auto white balance is gonna choose what it thinks it should be by evaluating the scene as you're taking photos. That is great if you know that the lighting isn't gonna be changing while you're shooting, but in gymnasium, sometimes you get video boards um, on the court. So if you're sitting down and you're shooting towards a video board and a player goes in front of it, it is gonna throw your white balance completely off. So one thing that I've learned to fix this is just setting the white balance as close as possible to what it should be in the gymnasium. Now, cameras have presets that you can choose from, sunny, shady, tungsten, white tungsten light, maybe a few others, and then you can adjust the Kelvin, the temperature yourself. Then there's also a custom white balance. This custom white balance can save you a lot of time in editing later down the road. And there are two tools that you can use with using the custom white balance. One is a gray card. So an 18% gray card you can find on Amazon. You can put that down on the court or in your area that you're shooting, take a photo of it. And then when you import into Lightroom, you can use that to use the white balance eyedropper to grab the proper white balance for that area and then just copy and paste it to all of the photos and then you can go through and edit and crop and do what you need to do after that. Then there is also a white balance filter and that is something you just put on the front of your lens. You take a photo, it's gonna, you're not gonna see anything and it's gonna give you the custom white balance that you need. And on the camera within the custom white balance, if you go into the custom, it's gonna prompt you to take a photo and if you use that or a gray card, then when you take the photo, it's going to automatically give you the Kelvin that your white balance should be at in the camera. So that is a one way to fix it. Instead of doing it in post, you could do it before you even start shooting with the gray card or the filter. Both of those are going to be linked in the description down below. So if you want to see what they are and maybe get one for yourself. Now I say this is a big thing because back to the video board or any light source that is different from the main light source for the gym or wherever you're shooting is it's going to pick up the video board and completely throw your white balance completely off. And the reason white balance is so important is because it's going to give you the proper skin tones and the proper look for that area. So your colors are going to stay true to what they should be. If your white balance is off, your team colors are going to be wrong and it's kind of a branding thing like you don't want to alter the team colors of the team that you are covering so to keep your white balance proper is just setting it or finding finding a preset in the camera that is close or using the two tools that you can get and setting it as close as possible that way when you go to edit it's already adjusted or it's close enough that it's just going to be a slight adjustment after the fact now I don't know if this is so much of a problem if you are shooting it raw versus JPEG, but I shoot raw and I still take the time to make sure my white balance is set for whatever venue that I'm shooting in. And this also goes for baseball, softball, this could be outdoor sports as well. Just having the proper white balance is going to keep your photos looking more true to what you see to your naked eye. So set a white balance, save your time and post and it's gonna be a huge um, burden off your back when you're going through editing. But with that said, that's all I wanted to talk about today, just a little tip. Um, I appreciate it if you would like, subscribe, leave a comment down below if you have any questions, and I will see you all next time.